friends today what we are going to do is we are going to draw uh, and paint some white birch trees in fall in a, on a black background okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need watercolor we need crayons we need some water because we are using watercolor and we are using half a paper so and then we need a pencil to draw okay so i'm going to cut my paper in half because i don't have a half a paper if you have half a paper from last week you can use that okay so um if you have a scrap paper to practice draw uh, actually uh, there isn't much to draw but I'm, i'll just show what we have to do on the white uh, board but even if you don't have one it is okay okay I just want you guys to see how we are drawing the thing. I'm going to put this away also right now. And then let me put my crayons also away. That's a lot of stuff here. Very little space and a lot of stuff. So we'll be placing the paper in the portrait style. Okay. And then first thing that you need to do is, what we are going to do is we are going to draw three birch trees birch trees have you guys seen a birch tree if you're from nimitz um i know where you can see near the um the anchor near the first uh kindergarten area there are some birch tree birch trees are white trees with like black um like black lines on them i think most of you have, would have seen a birch tree so uh let's see how we draw it um so it's a tree, right? So as it's a, a thing, a natural thing, and the line should not be super straight. You're not drawing this line with a, a ruler. We are not using rulers, okay? So the thickness of this tree should be maybe one finger thickness, okay? See? I'm going to draw another tree. This is in a different direction, maybe. So a little bit of bumps is good when you're drawing the tree. Hope you guys can see. So that's how we'll draw it. And then once you draw this, um, we'll be coloring in with crayons and adding the leaves also with crayons okay so this is all the drawing that we are going to do drawing um three birch trees and that two simple straight lines not like a line with a ruler but a line freehand okay so if you think you can draw this then we are ready so on the birch tree when we are uh, adding the lines to the birch tree the lines would go like that so this, i wanted you to show this also the lines that we make are like curvy lines not straight lines curvy lines when you do the curvy lines it will make the tree look more rounded if you add straight lines for everything it won't look that round but instead if you add little curvy lines you don't have to have the lines too close together okay i'm just it will look more realistic and this tree looks more rounded than this tree can you see the difference this and this yeah so this is what i wanted to show on the whiteboard curvy lines okay and now let's take the paper so we are going to use a pencil and then draw the tree. So three trees, right? First tree almost to the uh, edge of the paper. I'm going to start one tree from top to bottom. It's like you're not seeing the whole tree. You're just seeing a part of the tree. Okay. And I'm going to put my finger next to the line and then draw a line. So this is one finger wide. Now I'm going to make another tree here. Okay. 
one finger wide don't make the lines super straight then it would not look um, like a tree right so hope you can see my lines okay so we have the lines done now I'm going to put the pencil away I'm going to take my crayons down so because it's a white tree and there is no white in a uh, watercolor so what we're going to do is we are going to use white crayon, black crayon now. Okay, so first I'm going to make some nice thick lines like that. Curly lines. All these lines doesn't have to be exact same width. Maybe some can be thin lines. So inside one of the trees. So right now that looks like so many lines are there. Only We are only making this thing inside the trees, okay? Not the background. Slightly curved lines to make it look curved. Now we're going to take a white crayon. This time when you're using the white crayon, see that you um, color really well, press really well and then color, okay? It's okay if some black spreads because birch tree though a white tree, it's not like a pure white color. I wanted the black to spread a bit, little bit. That's why I put the black first. Okay, try to color inside this tree really well inside the lines. Okay, now do the same thing for this tree. color would spread a bit but the, that will make it look more natural see how nice this tree looks compared to the one that is not spread out right take your time color really well see that you cover most of the space you don't want like a lot of empty space without the white on top, okay? Because the background is going to be black, we're going to paint with black and if some black, uh, otherwise it will be a black tree in a black background. So we want it to be a white tree, the white needs to stand out. Check whether you missed any spot and then fill that up if you missed anything. Okay, so far I'm happy with how it looks. Now I'm going to take the fall leaf colors and then use the other crayon. That is a little bit blunder. So I'm going to take the dark orange. Is this the dark orange? Red, green and yellow. Okay. So, 
look for the side that is narrower. So the trunk towards the bottom would be a little bit wide. In case both the sides um, look the same, um, thick, wide, if it is, the, the bottom is also uh, the same width at the top of the tree, that is fine. But mine, I think this part is a little bit wide. So this is going to be the top of the tree, right? I'm going to take my crayon and then I'm going to make some leaves, okay? So birch tree has leaves like this, like small oval shaped leaves or like that. So press like that and then make some leaves. You can go on top of the tree also. Need to press a little bit. I'm gonna take some yellow. I'm going over the leaves to give it some yellow color also. Some, most of the uh, leaves should be uh, orange, okay. Some I'm making it like look reddish orange. So I'm so a few red dots. So some more orange. red in between so the more you press your leaves are look going to look nice and vibrant by now you know this right so i'm going to have some red fewer right This is a tiring job. On top of the orange, a little bit of yellow. We didn't use green yet. Maybe in between a few can be green and orange also. On one side, I'm just making a C, or you can make a circle around. To be that. Actually, this is a lesson we do with Chembra paint. So I'm just trying to do the same lesson with watercolor and crayon. So I'm trying to figure out how this looks. So the, these trees have like small branches going on like that. Okay, that is, that is where the trees are attached. But because it's a black background, you won't be... And those branches are black in color. And because it's a black background, you won't be able to see the uh, small, the little branches. Okay, so you just need to put the uh, leaves. So leaves, you don't have to have a particular 
uh, direction in which it's going you can have like a clump of leaves in one here clump here clump here okay maybe we'll make one two three four five six clumps okay so we have like one two three four five six maybe six two more One more clump of leaves. You can go over all these to make it look nice and leafy looking. Or natural looking, right? Just pressing and making the leaves a little bit more darker so that when I paint on top it is going to stand out better so you also see that you make these lines make this crayon press your crayons really well so that your leaves stand out well okay There seems to be a lot of empty space in here. I think I'm happy with the amount of leaves and how much how it is looking right now. I'm going to put my crayons back. I'm going to take my watercolor. Let's see. Should I add some more here? There's a little bit more space here. I just said I'm happy and then I'm like, hmm, I see a little bit more space. Maybe. In between spaces, I'm just going to put yellow. start the painting I'm going to get my water and because it's a black background 
what color do you think I'm going to take? Oh, this is a big gap here. <laughs> oh no. I don't want the least like a big gap between them. A little bit of gap is fine. So I'm going to just use the black. So I'm going to dip my brush in water, maybe put four to five drops of water, uh, water drops in black. I'm going to swirl my brush in black to wake the paint. Okay, I'm not doing this super fast. I don't want to get the paint all over. Uh, I don't want to mix the colors. Okay, so once you do this a few times, I think my brush is loaded properly. I'm going to start from, I'm going to paint all over. See, it doesn't matter if you're painting on top of the birch tree also. So each time your brush is dry, dip it in the water. Take a bit of black from the paint and then paint. This is the moment of truth. It will show whether you uh, colored the birch tree properly. So each time your brush is dry, give your brush a drink of water, then swirl in the paint and then paint. Hope you guys are holding your brush in the right way. Like a pencil above the metal part. And because I told you before also, this is not the uh, regular watercolor paper. So don't paint over the same area again and again because it's going to rip your paper okay in case uh, a part is too light and you want to uh, add more color to that part what you can do is wait for the paper to dry and then you can add another layer i don't have space for my paper and what remember each time your brush is dry you are going to give your brush a little bit a drink of water come back dip it in the paint and then paint a drink some more paint and then paint don't paint with a thirsty brush uh, you're not going to get a nice painting that way So I'm done right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel, fold it like that. I'm going to go over the tree, okay? Because the part where there is excess paint, I'm going to, uh, where there is the crayon, the paint is just lying there, right? So I'm just taking off that paint. Only I'm doing this on top of the tree. And the, add, the place where that we missed, that will look like that is where the tree is like uh, white or black. Okay. So that's our lesson. Hope you guys had fun doing this birch tree with me. I had a lot of fun uh, doing this. Um, because it's black, it's going to be messy. The, yeah, so you need to wipe your the area down. Also, when you're done, uh, wait for the paint to dry before you put close this. Wash your brush really well. It's like sweeping the floor of the container. Okay, a few times. Wipe it on the rim of the container. And when you wipe, it is clean. Okay, see the bristles are like it was. I'm going to leave it here 
leave it there for drying and then i'm going to leave this also to dry after it dries up take a picture and email me so that i can see how your tree turned out and don't forget to add your name room number and your your name grade and your room number also add the school name so that i can see how this turned out so till we meet next time bye bye